We will see you again sooner than you think. Thank you for your support. And your contribution will make us a little bit happier. Thank you. Welcome back to the Beyond the Summit Starlighter stream, where our canners and rares are lost on a daily basis. Best of one. I hope none of you bet on secret for this yep. game. That would be a big mistake. Yeah, I Especially agree. Especially looking at this draft, which oh. is just, just terrible. It's it's disaster, and we're not even. They gonna fucking lost, dude. We're not even going to show it to you guys <laughs> until the very end, so yep. you can just sit there. Just just imagine the worst possible scenario. Like it's it's not going good. But uh, this is our third last game for today. I'm gonna show the rosters just because I can. I haven't looked at this screen. So uh, the X Compass Gaming now hell raises. Hey, we actually used our production value. Yeah. Except the one team is like apparently much larger heads than the others. Yep. So. Uh, well. I will say, as much as the pictures aren't uniform, it is really hard to collect pictures on most pro teams. Yeah. Outside of like the teams that attend a TI, and then even with those teams, they normally roster shuffle. So if you then you have like. DK players in LGD uniforms or secret have their hoodie whatever. picture. I wonder where these are from. I think this is from PSL? season ten. Oh, season ten of Starlight. Okay, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Ma maybe not. Well, that's it's damn hard, dude. Yeah. No, I agree. No, no. <laughs> the teams who haven't been to land events, you ask them, they like give you like just a picture taken from their Facebook page, and it's like, okay, they like this is what you get. The this SCA picture in the middle. The teams and the TI three qualifier were the worst. Oh my gosh. We're, Our production value was uh, ent entertaining. We, we were like, we really want to have team photos, but yeah. it's just they're just so bad. Not not the players' looks, but the, yeah. the photo quality. Well, here's some numbers and stats which don't really mean fuck all. So you guys can look <laughs> at that too. <laughs> Every time we cast the land finals for Star Ladder, you'll you'll meet our producer Roman. Uh, he I think he's coming here for the summit too. And okay. He's just like talk about the stats, talk, and you know he's in ears. So like you just have this voice from God in your head. And it's like Roman, we're not talking about the stats. The stats are pointless, dude. He's like talk about the stats. You got to talk about the stats more. I'm. Just, you can show the stats if you want. We're not talking about them. No. And then finally. <laughs> We were just Look, like, LD. All right, our producer has told us we have to talk about these stats, but they're meaningless. Talk about the stats. Talk to me. No. Talk to me. Um, secret uh, are winning a lot of games. Seventy-seven percent. Secret are a really good team. That's good. That are winning a lot of games. Okay. Um, what do we got here? Thirty-seven percent. That's bad. Have, they're kind of inverse. That, that includes like stats from the old Hellraisers, though. Yeah. That's, like, that includes the art style Hellraisers. So these are like the most meaningless stats ever. Yeah. I mean, and, and like these. See, that, that was the type of thing that you'd be like talking about the stats. I'm just like, dude, this is like, it's like talking about DK stats when like. You know, DK from TI4, DK now. It's like yeah, they have all like the different like hero win rate stats and stuff, which go all the way back like six or seven patches ago as well. So, um, we will try. Oh, anyways, we'll try to hide the draft from you. The draft hasn't even moved forward, so yeah, well, I guess we have to. Show I you. thought the draft would be done by now, but <laughs> thanks <laughs> for the not. Arcana secret fan straights. Slowest draft of my life. <laughs> um, I love I love calling people fan straights. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best because you're simultaneously. I Pissing off the fan fan people and also I, flaming the people that are very dis nasty, vile creatures on Twitch chat. Yep. I'm with you, LD. Okay. Thanks, buddy. So, with me. Dota 2. Let's talk Dota. All right. So, it's secret. If you leave Tide, Brew, Elder Titan, or Wisp in the pool, they will generally take at least the one of them, or if two are in the pool... Two or more, they might even take two of them in the first phase. So, yes, um, we have seen them. There was a point where they were getting brew and tied at Star Ladder for several games in a row. That that's or no, changed. it was one game where they got the brew, and a lot of games where they got the tied plus one of those heroes. And then teams were like, "Oh crap, we should probably not give them those." PPD ended up masterminding the plan of just snap picking that tied every time they first pick. Worked out beautifully. Uh, well, Secret are gonna get their tied. But in exchange, Hellraisers get the Death Prophet. They get that Jakiro, which I feel has been just a bit neglected today. Yeah, this is almost like an EGS draft with the Jakiro Death Prophet, and it does somewhat spell like 
five man death ball push, but at the same time, Death Prophet scales well to the late game. Yeah. Jakira is pretty versatile as far as laning goes, and, and you even can go back scaling. to like a void here and just run like yeah. support Jakira Skywrath or or even a one position void, and just do all kinds of work with that Chrono. You know, I I feel like I've never just like I feel like this is obvious, and I can't believe I've never realized this. A actually stops like the Death Prophet Exorcism heal. I've never like it's never clicked that that happens to I me. I guess that normally I think I can't mean, hold it long enough so that yeah. Like, you want to just blow up the Death Prophet ASAP, it's not, like, like, try to time yeah. the ult so that, like, when the heal's coming, you yeah. block it. But, uh, yeah, you're right. It's. I, I don't think I feel... I feel like I've never seen that occur in a pro game, though. Yeah. It, it probably has happened, like, but yeah, not I, had I don't an think impact, I have but... Either. They're going to go for a little Triant Protector okay. here. Okay, Core then, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Trian and Sky, not really good Core here. Also, so. for those who don't know, I think I mentioned it very briefly, but uh, before this last game ended, but... Uh, Hellraisers, this is not the art style. Hell Hellraisers, this is Compass Gaming. Plus Dread. With, with Dread yeah. minus... I forget who they lost. Um, not sure. But they are very legit. They've been looking legit for months now. Eternal Envy's finally realized it. He started tweeting about it the past week or two. And yeah, they're, uh, they're a team to look out for in the European region. Okay. Definitely a strong team. They've stopped doing their Dusa Antimage drafts, which is probably for the best, although <laughs> it makes me a little bit sad. It worked. Once or twice, but it was. Yeah. I don't think it was because the draft was good. I think it was just because they played well. Yeah. So. We'll see a Disruptor pick for Secret. So, Disruptor AA support duo. So, they're definitely going a different direction, like no Puppy Marana. Some supports from Secret that we don't. I would say you don't see too often. I don't know. You've, you've cast more of them than I have. Um, yeah, Puppy Marana was a go to thing for him for a while, yeah. but we Less haven't so seen him much lately. There was like a. It was kind of like. There was a streak leading to TI4 where I ca was casting with Cinder and we cast like, I don't know, like seven or eight days of Chinese Dota over the course of like two weeks. And every DK game we saw for like six, seven games in a row, first pick Marana, first pick Marana, first pick Marana. And they kept on losing with it too. So. <laughs> and they were just like, uh, it just wouldn't make any sense. But yeah. yeah. DK. Those Sometimes you just get attached to a hero. Maybe they were experimenting. but Okay, we got Naga Siren. So mm. I've never, I don't know. Naga with Death Prophet seems like a weird little mix always. Because with Naga Siren, That's... you need four heroes to create space for one. And Death Prophet's kind of squishy and why is like the hero you need pr to protect generally. Why don't, why wouldn't you go for Void here over Tree and then get something else as a support? I... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, LD. I feel like the Void can offer you a lot of what the Death Prophet does. Or, sorry, what the Naga does, right? Like, team fight control, some late game potential. Doesn't really rat the same way, but you already have Death Prophet and Jakiro who push as well. And he, he just synergizes so well with their lineup. Skyrat, yeah. Jakiro would have been perfect. Uh, Death Prophet goes really well with the Void if you get off a good Chrono. It's great versus Kraken Shell. You can't Kraken it off. And you got a BKB, Disruptor, and AA are just food against you. So I'm a little surprised they didn't snap up the Void there. But well, we'll see. Hellraiser's obviously have something yeah. in mind with this. It's time. still like I look at this secret draft and think like this is actually a pretty good game to be a Naga. It's just still like yeah. you're, you're going to have this weak mid game where Death Prophet can't really fight because Naga's you're you're fighting four v five in some ways, but there's no good heroes to back up the Death Prophet. And <laughs> well, Naga just isn't like a space creator, really. Right? Yeah, I yeah. guess you could go for the merit like the once in a while we'll see Miracle do his Aquila drums build. Yes. But he, I think he even said in his Reddit, ask me anything, like, nine times out of ten, you should just rush Radiance after Aquila. Yeah. He likes the drums when he's farming really well. Like, he, it's, it's funny, like, he's, he's, he's farming really fast. Instead of getting a super fast range, he's like, I'm going to get drums and go and fight. And still a fast range. And, yeah. yeah, and just help my team own even harder. Terrorblade last pick, though. It's going to be split push versus split push in some ways. Does put Raze in the mid lane for S4. Not really a, a big problem there, and... We'll see Terrorblade in action. Hmm. Terrorblade this game. Seems they don't have too much lockdown for him. Yeah. That's a bit of a concern. Yeah, like a Jakiro, like have the Yule's Ice, ice Path. path. Silence. Yeah. At some point, I'll get a Manta, so the Death Prophet Silence won't be good forever. It's a decent Terrorblade game. Yep. Uh, Skyrath so. Mage is really good against him if he's able to find some openings, but the thing with Secret is they're just so good at protecting their one position generally. And right. they just invest a lot of resources in it. But I don't, I don't know if they'll be able to do that as much this game, running that Razor. We'll have to see what his matchup is here in the top lane. Up against the Jakiro tree. That's going to be really annoying for whoever lanes there. Yeah, that's... What a disgusting lane that yuck. is. Yuck. And it's the, <laughs> the jewel ring of protection. It's, it's the new thing. It's so gross. It's Eight armor on Jakiro, dude. 625 yeah. It. 
I mean, you think of like all the early harass. So much of it is right clicks from supports, and oh, he's about to oh, feed. Oh well, okay, no. <laughs> yeah. He's chilling here. He's AF he was AFK for like half a second. Oh. And he's like, oh crap. I'm dead. Lead seed. Oh, that's easy heal. That eight armor almost. Oh saved. man, no. that, well, yeah, lane's really. over, folks. If he was actually like focused, there, he was probably looking somewhere else on the screen, or, or he may have alt tab for like a split second just to yeah. check a Skype setting. He I didn't. Don't know, but... He didn't back off right away. Whatever it was. It was no boy. No excuse. No boy. Day. Like that's. And the first blood went to you. the razor. So mid lane just got ex exceedingly hard for your death prophet. Yep. As for Taxes puppy, a couple of tangos and yeah. This lane is just gonna be so rough. No boots on death prophet. Generally does all right against razor. Oh, dread, dread. also AFK. Dread, at the wheel. Right, what's going on here? They Luckily, really wanted that rune. And Metamorph he... wears off is the good news. Oh my god, though. Can you imagine if they give up two Ooh. kills there? If that's a haste rune. It's, Goodbye. He, he knew that the metamorphosis would end at exactly that moment. That's the only reason he went for that play. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's, it was all calculated. Yeah. <laughs> Not just calculated because he wanted to go back and take a tour of his own his own base. <laughs> and then uh, make his way back up top. He's going to do the walk of shame. All the way back to base and all the way back to lane. Unless he That's sells his brand. Worse. It's almost worse than just dying. Yeah, there was nothing to suicide to is the problem. Because yeah. the neutrals hadn't spawned yet. Yeah. It's such oh, an man. unusual situation. Yeah. Not dead before the creep spawn, but need to suicide to something. Always can make that long journey to the rush pit, but at that point it's faster to walk back to base. Alright, well we haven't actually introduced our teams, I guess, so let's let's go ahead and do that. I'll, I'll do Hellraisers. You've got Gorak on your Jakiro offlane. Not an inauspicious start for him. Dread will be playing that support Triant, trotting towards top. Mid goes the... Blighted Affa Ninja, who's gonna have his work cut out for him here, and the bottom lane should be their easiest lane. Arts on the Naga with great backup here, and goddamn, on your Skyrath Mage. On the die side, oh, top lane, bit of an engagement coming out. Gorik in trouble, and that's a second kill going the way of Team Secret. They're trying to get the counter kill on Kuro, but I don't think that's happening. Puppy taking the right clicks here, one more would be needed. And he Dredd. just hit so hard, he's gonna bring them all Where to the like, boots no at? HP. Where the boots at, Dread? Oh, oh, got him! Too close! He almost has mana. No, he's actually short of mana for Leaf oh. Seed. Kuroki forced to actually skill Reflection, which isn't bad by any means, but yeah. generally you don't see players do this. On bottom lane, Simba caught out a bit. They're out of... No, they've got a little bit more mana on God. I'm not enough, though. And he went for that uh, somewhat surprising snare point, although we are seeing it every now and then from Nagas nowadays, where you... It, 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 it became the build where you'd never get in snare, so when it happened, it'd be like, ooh. You get a kill and it catches someone by surprise, so it is becoming a bit more common to do this. Yeah, so. it's it's more common in dual or tri lanes, but yeah. still not that common even then. Well, I'll quickly introduce the die team. Didn't finish that. Kuro going to be playing the safe lane farming Terrorblade. Puppy on the Ancient Apparition. No Tail playing the Disruptor. Mid lane will be S4 on the Raisin. Finally, off lane will be Simba or Fly playing the Tidehunter. All right, that was quick and simple. So. Well, mid lane actually going surprisingly well for Affin Ninja, considering that S4 got fed first blood, and yeah, he's he's down a bit on levels, but not by too much. S4 sitting at eight and five now, nine and five. The Death Prophet at nine and four. So, I think all things oh. considered, Affin Ninja doing really well here, considering how the game began. Safe lane trial lane kind of messes up again. Curry even pops a metamorph, thinking they'd got like a, a glimpse off, or they were gonna get a glimpse off with the the cold feet. So. Only level one glimpse. It's pretty. Yeah. It's it's so ridiculous when it's max, but at level one, it's pretty damn bad. Against like the solo offlane, is spamming the metamorph. I think is okay, but against like a three v two lane, you want to hold the metamorph for like when there's an actual fight because they're gonna contest the lane with a dual lane. If you're against a the suicide solo type hero, you don't need to contest. Look at it. that harass damage. Dread almost yeah. wanted to go in. They can almost beat this tri lane two v three. Imagine if they hadn't given up first blood. Yeah. This is how strong they are, but now they're in trouble. Chilling Jeez. Touch coming through, Gorik dropping low, your tree also gonna drop low. That double ring saving lives. I just, this lane could have been so magnificent for them if they hadn't given up those kills, and, yeah. and also the tree having to go back to base early. Oh. But, them's the breaks. They're still holding up okay-ish. They're not really slowing down the Terrorblades farm, but they are, it is a 2v3, so they are devoting a lot of secrets here. Bottom lane, we're gonna have a go on Simba. I've got one more Arcane Bolt, and yeah, that's a kill on Simba. Nicely nice played. Nice takedown. He is getting his levels, though. Already level 4, nearly. Not too yeah. shabby. The thing with Simba is that he doesn't normally dominate his lane that hard, but he's just so good at catching up in the mid game. And part of it's that secrets invest a lot in stacking for him when he's on these heroes like Tide and 
you know, when he's on, like, a timber saw, he's just given a lot of space to farm on the map, but I think his just decision-making on when to rotate is really good, and it's probably his biggest strength as an offlaner. He's not really, like, the, the lane dominator type that will just, like, yes. crush crush a 1v3 or something. Oh, they're just straight up diving this tower. Oh, Dread considers, and then the TP comes in. There's a point in. of reflection. If he gets in range for that... Glimpse back under the tower of oh all places. And here comes the Razor. This is going to be two, I think. That's a haste the Razor. He's so The dead. body blocks. What yeah. a body block by a fork. He's, he's just teasing now. He's like, I'm not even going to attack you. All right. He, okay. Yeah, he can go back mid, still have this. The Death the Prophet's... Way. Death Prophet, if she gets hit like once or twice while he's hasted, I think she's dead too. He's hey, going to have it for like one or two auto attacks maybe. Yeah, but Death Prophet's back off. backed off anyways, yeah. yeah. Safe. So after Ninja, he's CSing well, but this, uh, Death Prophet against Raze is pretty even, even matchup or slightly even like farm favored towards the Death Prophet, I'd say, but it's pretty even. With the first blood, it should be at least even. Yeah, S4 did spend more time off the lane, so now F Ninja does full head a bit. Yeah, Death Prophet one of the better heroes against Razor because she doesn't really need her attack damage because she's got such a good spammable nuke, and she can also sit pretty far back. But when he has the boots of Banjo level 1, it makes things a bit trouble. Oh, more kills come in top lane. Kuro's got Metamorph once more, and that's a dead Gorek. Yeah, you betcha. Oh, <laughs> make it two. Dread gets caught by the Glimpse here. Big dagging no-tail, pulls him back, and should be another kill, and Kuro gets both. What's what's this top lane doing? I don't know. I this is the feed train, and it's it's left the station. That one there was like okay, they're out of position, wasn't a good play. But that play before from Dread, where he just yolo ran by the the tower, like a bit of a drive by, that was really questionable. Well, what what day of the week is it? It's Wednesday. It's it's hump day. They just got off work, you know. They gotta get over the hump as they get towards the weekend and loosen up a little bit, relax, unwind, okay. die a few extra times to. Get the feeling right. I mean, it just goes back to that level one play. I feel like that something like that happens, and you might not even be angry, but you're you just subconsciously just like, well, we fucked this game up. Yeah. Especially you when you're feeding like a terror blade tri lane of all things. Dota two is definitely a very emotional game. Thank you. And even if you're cold and calculated, like logically, it's like, well, we just fed a first blood to a razor who's now going to have a much better time as one v one and terror blade and the supports get some experience. It's going to be a hard game. Yep. So. Oh, Simba's going to make things harder. He's going to start stacking up some Ancients to get his farm kind of accelerated and just get him towards that level 6. And For uh, Team Secret, I think they'll be pretty pleased with how things are going now. Mid lane Alpha Ninja's getting harassed pretty hard. At least now that he seems to have lost some of the rune control that he'd prefer to have. So uh, for Hellraisers, I... This dual lane is just completely failed. Like the, the Jakiro who's meant to be farming doesn't even have boots. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't even know who's meant to be farming the Trino or the Jakiro. It's <laughs> it's still up in the air. Naga seems to be the one kind of hope for Hellraisers this game. I guess Death Prophet CSing and doing okay in the mid lane, but you're not going to win the game with this Death Prophet. You're going to win the game. It's going to come from the Naga Siren, so they've got to just get to that Radiance and I guess hope for the best. I don't know. Yeah, I would agree with that. And we'll see S4 just getting aggressive here. He's been getting some nice runes. Double yeah. damage rune now. We saw the haste rune earlier, like the ideal runes. He could, if he gets one hit on Affa Ninja, he can run him down with a plasma field. But he won't get that one hit. Yeah, yeah. so Naga farming really well. I. I, I don't see why you wouldn't just rush the radiance. Yeah, you you need to. This this not this is all in Naga Siren with the bad start. Death Prophet. I, we're not going to see Death Prophet really be able to siege towers just because Jakiro and Trina are so far behind and are so itemless. Without like the Yules or a Mech or something from the Jakiro, there's just no no contribution. These these are essentially you've got three support heroes on the radiant side. You can't keep a Death Prophet alive with just three kind of support heroes who just sit back and throw spells and are super squishy. There's too much damage that Death Prophet just can't tank. Death Prophet TP's top and we'll, we'll stop the push, but Kuro's like, well, I'm already farming well, I can just go back to the neutrals and this will be just fine. Yeah, it's a very fat terribly. The one thing that Secret isn't really doing, though, is giving the lane to a support. And I, I, it's something you see Cloud9 do a lot of, and I guess their concern here is just how aggressive the HR are playing. Their supports are still really high level, yeah. though. Like, from the kills, yeah. <laughs> they're getting fed all these unnecessary kills, and that's all they need. And 
kinetic field stat or uh, glimpse combo rather as Gorak will just get annihilated but might come at the cost of Kuro has no mana left he could go down here oh one more nuke that should be enough to get it he bought his Yasha still a lot of experience going against them they end a streak there too and of course they kill off the Terror Blade on top of it all as Dread will dive in a bit deeper He's but your to... Razor is going to come in clean up one look for another Dread quick TP out will he get there in time glimpse still cooling still down cooling down yeah, Dread and Skyrath just tried to split up so they like one of them would live, one would die, and well, Dread was like, "Kill me," but they went for the Skyrath instead. TP's Take in. me now. Jakiro has boots. We can um, celebrate, I guess. Whew. Farming offlane Jakiro in the tree. Yes. Yeah. This is about the worst game. Zero oh, and five, five CS. He's, yeah, zero oh and five six. And five, dude. He's five and five record. Yeah, make it five and six. Right. Go with that. I think he's just on tilt at this point. Oh, for sure, ah. for sure. You're like, it's it's a mix of like on tilt and when you're behind. Like, especially if you're like your role in the team is to play like a core hero, like an offlaner. But at this point, he needs to treat himself like a support. Like, he needs to stay hidden, not re reveal himself much. He can't treat his role as a core anymore, and that's something which it's, it's just hard very, to change it's that very mindset. Very difficult psychologically, yeah. and just frustrating so yeah, you think you can just go back to the lane you're like okay i got to catch up let's play a bit greedy and as a result you just end up in an even worse position and then each time that you die it gets easier and easier <laughs> to kill you and oh. it's, a, it's a reverse snowball basically. he's bo actually bottom of the net worth this is their three position player at, <laughs> at, he's the at least playing the 10 roll hero in the game yeah, yeah the 10 roll that's right well Seeker going to be stacking up some Ancients here for Simba. Let's see what he's going to go for. Brazer can be your mech builder if you want, but so far S4 not spending his gold. So I imagine we'll see the blink yeah. from the tide. He's their main initiator here. And yeah. Probably just your straight mech for S4. Yeah. Mech or drums, but yeah, either or is fine. Looks like S4 is going to go drums. This okay. is like the... Uh, Ateezy likes the Treads drums build, and S4 seems to Maybe as well. Maybe they just skip the mech. Yeah, I think so it's like a post-blink item for tide if they still want it. It is a pretty good mech game. A lot of AoE from HR, not much single target. Actually, Disruptor, first. I think, is going in. He's got the Ring of Regen. Goddamn, caught out here and might end up going down in the bottom lane. And mm, If they get that no one gush. extra nuke, they have a Ravage. No gush. Can't quite get a range. I tied so hard. I tied so hard and got so far. But in the end, didn't even matter. Yeah. oh Top lane. Is this the Jakiro feeds? It's... It he should be. He has a TP scroll. Can't cancel that Sunday? anymore. Sunday? No, no Sunday. Oh yeah, you're right. You can't cancel. Oof. That last Still attack almost, almost hit. Attacked. Yeah. But oh, Jesus, dude. If he went for it right away, I guess he could have TP'd sooner. But... Yikes. Chikiro. He's got 15 CS suddenly. I don't know. That's that's an improvement. Oh. Naga 2300 gold. So the road to relic is slowly. Being paved. Yeah, it's decent timing. I main difference is that there's the tier one down top lane for secret. Yeah. HRB at the other tower. Yeah. Nice boss goes flying all the way top lane, and that's only your, your death property. He's gone for a drums build. So I think recognizing the fact that yeah, we need just more stats and survivability from you. Like the yules is nice and all, but stopping up at whatever cheap cost effective items you can get this game is yeah, you yules yourself, and they're like, oh great, now we can just drop a static storm kinetic field on top of your ass, yeah. and then you're dead anyway. Uh, F and Ninja will get glimpsed back to safety. He says, I think was thank you. Dead there. Yeah, me too. He, it was a double damage on S4. He was very dead. Maybe he didn't notice it. Razor's yeah. one of those tricky heroes where the DD rune isn't that noticeable. Yes. Because he's already a big blue glowing guy, and now he's slightly more electric blue glowing guy. DD on blue here is OP, basically. The player was dropped, forcing a hero back out of the Radiant Jungle, and that's a bit of grim. Okay. There's your song. They do have a Ravage ready, so they need to get the hell out of here. But with Song down, no overgrowth yet. Exorcism is ready, but I think Afa Ninja is just too squishy to use it Six, and, and stay alive. We may see yeah. Seeker try to force the issue. You you try to go near. If, if he gets hit by Ravage, he's just instantly dead. If, and if he's Exorciming, I imagine Tide will be happy to Ravage and set up an Ice Blast, or just raise a Static Link, and all the goods that go with that. Yeah, exactly. Secret, just continue to farm that time now, Simba. I mean, he just like basically disappears the Ancients. The funny thing is they've even got this ward here, so they know it's happening, but it's just like so difficult <laughs> to shut this down, especially with their draft. They don't really have a great hero to punish it. Yeah. 
I agree. I, I think it's just you Out kind limbs. of. Uh oh. Well, ice blast S4 actually. Oh yeah, they're gonna bring down Alpha Ninja. Wow, the exorcism eight. gets dealt with pretty quickly. Why would you exorcism there? Yeah. I think they're just kind of. I don't know. They're not on their A game right now. Compass. So much, like you say, go, goes back to the start. We were talking this team up as a team who causes upsets and has some big games, but they're not showing it here just yet. Now, just to be clear, I did not say bet on Compass or HR. I just said don't bet on Secret. Because <laughs> even if you win, it's, it's basically nothing anyway. Uh -huh. I don't want any angry bettors, you know, coming after us, trying to look Nobody up where we live. told me not to bet. <laughs> I could have won half an arcana with my four arcanas. I don't want to, like, wake up in the middle of the night and some angry, angry Dota 2 lounge better is, like... Outside my window, rapping on it, you know, like say, like yelling at me, holding up angry signs, heckling us in our sleep. Show mercy, please, Twitch chat. It's okay, we all lose our cannons. I'm a little more often than others. Yeah. Well, if you want, if you want the real, like the real rares betting advice from early in Dota, you got to subscribe to BTS. That's that's where the uh, the real rares. Oh yeah, we have, we've from. got a newsletter. Actually, we, we should have a newsletter. We, should. we already did. You'll never yeah. know unless you subscribe. <laughs> Our subscribers are in on it. Dread could get ice wink, wink. here. Oh, no, he's... Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, indeed. One day. When we... Hmm. I wonder if Secret's gonna try to sneak a Roche at some point. We've seen Cloud9 do this extremely yeah. early. They're waiting for the DD rune. rune. They need the DD Terrorblade rune, maybe. It is. I, they can do it without, but it, it makes life easy. So... I think if they find a DD rune, they can definitely go for it. Yeah. And I believe with Terrorblade, the way it works with the bonus damage from your Metamorphosis is it actually counts as base damage in the game. Yep. So, so you get the full benefit of the DD rune. You get a lot of bonus damage out All of that. All the deeps. Well, the double deeps rune. Secret of positioning themselves at top lane. Oh, Still no Blink so Dagger tied. dangerous. They have everything ready oh. to go. Big Daddy's got his ulti. He's, He's got a glimpse. a glimpse. Yeah, not the best glimpse. Oh, close. He, if, if he was, like, just a little bit farther down. I, he, he glimpsed the Death Prophet, who was, like, kind of standing still. The Skyrath would have been a short kill. I guess he wanted the bigger target. Yeah, he, wanted, target, the, he wanted the big one. Big Daddy don't settle for no yeah. you know, noob support kills. Oh, big Daddy going to have to go em empty stomach today. <laughs> big Daddy? Empty stomach. So, Terrorblade still lurking around. Gets There's the DD rune. He's, he's wasting it for Ancients. That's... Envy would be... Displeased. And he might die for this. They had that ward here. I think it just expired. Yeah. They're going to catch out Karogi. Mystic Flare's there. Punished. Heavily. That's yep. a nice kill. At the same time, though, still Seeker trying to come on in. They get a glimpse back on the tree. He's going to promptly strut forward, just aggressively diving towards their tier one. He knows there aren't many other options here. Simba in position. He'll gush him. And he's done for. And another glimpse coming up in five seconds' time. So if they can keep vision, they could find another pickoff, but doesn't look like they'll get it. Yeah, it looks like Big Daddy is uh, actually just going to go for a four staff. So, good standard item pickup here. Someone gets ensnared. You want to be able to force them out. Same for that Jakiro combo. I mean, I say the Jakiro combo. Yule Scepter, probably going to be like 24 or 25 minutes this game, it feels. All right, where's this Naga at? Naga's the only hope for Radiant team, to be honest. Yeah. Relic? Okay. Radiance and coming up. This, this is still doable. Any game where there's Naga Siren, I just refuse to believe it's over. Although, the pickoffs are just going to keep continuing. Big Daddy No-Tails is finding kills left, right, and center with glimpses. Don't worry, you've got company from our viewers here. The, the snoozing is real whenever there's a Naga in a game. Alright. But Arts is playing it well. It's He's, uh, solid. He hasn't I, I don't mind a well played Nug again. Like some of those miracle games we watched, like it's just like watching. I, it's more it, it was interesting because like you learn new tricks and techniques from like the the really top Naga players. Like right? just like this is. This is next it's level. just diminishing returns, right? You see 50 Naga games. You've probably seen like 99 percent yeah. of the tricks. You've seen like five. There's probably a solid 10 to 30 percent still to go. Hey, it's gonna fly top. It's the Roshan. Okay. They have Ravage, and they're gonna TP in. Glyph was just used. Now they saw him as they look to disengage Arts. TP out. There you go. Nice little escape. They will get this tower deny, I believe. Yep. yep. Still working. No it, problem. So Titus Blink now. Bit of a late blink from Simba. Not horrible. He's just been unable to get involved in the, the action because of this, the lack of good initiation, apart from Glimpse, where he's not really been needed. It is a bit late at the same time. Like, compare him to the enemy hero. Yep. And it's pretty clear it's going to have a bigger impact. Unless there's... 
The, the thing is, they don't have a great setup for Macro Pyre, really, so... And he hasn't actually skilled yeah. it. He's level 9, Max got the Ice Path. Just playing more of that supporty type role. He will finally get is, close to his Yules. Yeah, working his Yules. Macro Pyre's a good spell. 6 second cooldown. You just, like, use that to push out waves. Like, I guess right now, Secret aren't really... Or to farm stacks. Pushing. It's really nice for farming yeah. stacks. You can do that with Liquid Fire, but... A little bit faster. Alright, well, we'll see the Naga Rat is going to begin now. S4 is going for the Ag Scepter, which he's completed 19 and a half minutes in. Damn! That's yeah, some fast eggs. He's farmed. Terrorblade's even more farmed, and that's after getting ganked at the Ancients not too long ago, so. He's already got 1200 gold and his next ultimate orb. Can buy that point booster if he wants, or just go straight towards the Scotty. But yeah, he's also very, very fat. And they're gonna get to a point when he's got Scotty, they get the blink on the tide, S4 goes back for probably the BKB next. Maybe just some other tanky item, but the four staff on no tail. I, th I think at that point you just start looking to starve out HR. And you wanna turn this into a game where oh, Naga losing Sarasin Puppy Bottom. He'll be fine. Into a game where like even if Naga farms, she doesn't actually approach creep waves, yeah. you know? She's just hiding her base. Yeah, like Naga you can get a Three, four, five slot Naga, but you can it could still be a completely useless Naga. Unless Naga is creep skipping and really pressuring the waves and split pushing effectively, the hero with max items isn't a big threat for secrets. So as things stand right now, they're doing pretty well here. S4 just gonna throw the Ags ulti and start working on the tier two mid tower. But top lane. Terrorblade on the move. One TP. And uh Jakira probably gonna go two TP. Good movement by Art. As soon as he sees that, he's going to start poking his head out bottom lane. TP's not coming just yet from Secret. They don't have one on Simba. S4 also does not have one. Big Daddy does, but couldn't really defend that alone. And, and Puppies was on cooldown. So he chooses his spots well. He'll get a free tower bottom lane. And they'll, they'll snap up some smaller items here. Your Death Prophet Yule's now complete. Just anything they can get their hands on. And like you said, I still don't count HR out, even though they're down 8, 9k. Heavily favor secret, just given that they have also a very good late game lineup, but you never know, man. Yeah. We've seen Naga's work magic before. There's been much bigger deficits that have been turned around, so. And Naga Death Prophet is a very strong combo. It's, it's more just can they survive that huge burst from a Ravage, Ice Blast, Disruptor combo, and then the Terror Blade and Razor just blasting them. Yeah. If they can, they can do a lot of work. The tanks versus the the glass cannons in some ways here. Although Terrorblade's going to be tanky and strong. Yeah, this this Terrorblade's looking pretty beefy right now. He's got his Scotty in a couple hundred, so that's a 22, 23 minute Scotty Manta with treads. Raises similar story where there's just ridiculous farm on S4. Naga will catch up though. This Radiance flash farming is already starting to kick in. Already has boots to travel and. I'd say approaching at least, but now the Razor and soon will be approaching the Terrorblade, although Terrorblade does have those illusions to split farm at the same time as well. Yeah, Terrorblade will bring down towers much more quickly, so that's where HR have to be a little worried, because they can't really get their Jakiro out too far on the map, he's definitely not going to approach a tier 2. And so, it's just up to those puny Naga illusions who don't benefit at all from the Radiance to try and whittle away at these towers as they... They look for go on mid on Afa Ninja. They have their blink rabbit. There you go, right on top of him. No chance. React a quick grab, but for a secret is they. They collect a big one. It's a solo ravage, but I think Simba's just like, I uh, can't really ravage anything this entire game. Let's just kill their most important hero to fight right now, because Naga's not going to fight into them. They have to defend. It's going to be very tough yep. to defend. Oh, Simba goes blinking into an ice path, unfortunately, but even without any gush or anything. Still a lot of damage being dealt. Secret don't have to high ground this. They're gonna get another freebie. This one on the goddamn, and at the same time, they can back off, take tier two's top and bottom, play it safe if they want. No Ravage here. Everyone pretty damn low, but let's see if they just go for it anyway. Yeah, it seems S4 with Aegis is happy to at least expend the Aegis here. He's, it's about to expire too. It just got- It's healing him though. Oh, healing him during the sleep. Arts. Unfortunate. I, I mean, he kind of had to wait for his material, you know? It's a yeah. rock in a hard place there. But Kuro, they go in now, turn to silence and finish off Kuro. He's got a Sunder now. He's a bit too low to survive. Oh no, they're oh, not going to finish him. Oh, Radiant's burning the tree line. He's going to Sunder from the trees. Oh. No, not going to happen. Cast animation. HY, HY learned about, learned the hard way, the pain of trying to do anything from the trees. And now so too shall Kuroki. Tree's the bane of all these old school players. 
AA will get the TP out, so... Good hold from Hellraiser, that's all you need is that one or two hold. And sure, it's a Death Prophet buyback at this point, though. Anything to just keep your Raxes alive. Buy time for Naga to get online and just do her thing, and... You need those illusions to really start tanking up if you want to be able to stop these pushes. As uh, S4, well, he's back in mid lane. And Got his combo here. Oh That's my. probably a oh, Gork does have Yules. He should live through this. Yeah, he's a he looks okay. Just a, what level one A, but yeah, level one Ice Blast and Tower gets last hit actually by the Death Prophet too. So more money going after Ninja's way after using a buyback. So that kind of makes up for it. Oh, they also got rid of the Ages. I Secret were just a bit over aggressive there. They could have just backed off, chilled, reset a bit, and then. They wouldn't have had Aegis, but I still think they can take tier yeah. twos. They just really committed to that. They just like they have complete control of the radiant and their own jungle. They've got great. They, they can theoretically get great vision deep on the map. Although right now it's Hellraisers with uh, a trio of wards around this middle lane in their jungle. But ancient apparition skypes the Sakara at the top. Jeez, brutal. Sniperina. And yeah, I definitely Secret can just back off and get their next level of items. It feels like, but they just. I feel like they 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 just seem to have like the, this impression that hey we can end it now we may as well try and end it a little bit faster. Hmm, what are they gonna go for on secret? BKB coming for S four. Yep. Your Tide Hunter probably will go refresher next. Standard stuff there. I'm wondering what Kuroki wants. If they want to try and win the game now, might want to go for BKB. There's a lot of magic damage yeah. and that Skyrath, which just wrecks him if he doesn't have Manta ready. Yeah, you can see from the last few fights where not having a BKB really hurts him. Also, just using that Manta, like he's using the Manta style to push, and then when they go on him, his Manta style is on cooldown. He which, could reserve it, yeah. Yeah, he. May, I think the uh, that's the alternative is be more defensive with your Manta style, and then you could maybe go for like a butterfly type item instead for the actual raw pushing power. Butterfly is really good this game for. Actually, for both carries, but I would say especially for uh, Terrorblade, because Naga is just not a good butterfly carrier. And Terrorblade is more about his main hero, just because of the way Metamorphosis works, so I think you can justify it a bit more there, but yeah, I, I still don't really... We're not likely to see an MKB on him. Down the bottom lane, they are going to go that just... Methodical, take the tier twos before we go for another high ground siege kind of approach here, and this will get S4 his BKB. So that's one thing that has impressed me about Secret is they are generally very disciplined. Like they overextended a bit mid lane, but it's not like they did that and then they started tilting or constantly overextending. They're like, okay, we overextend, let's just calm down. Here's our next objective. You know, boom. Even if they end up losing a game, it's rarely because they just like go on a full on tilt mode or just start going way out of position repeatedly it's just because they get outplayed. Horaces, they want to go for a trade maybe? No, Alpha Ninja. It looked like he was heading top lane. He's going to TP back, I think, realizing that. Trading risk, Terrorblade. Sure, you've got Exorcism, but it's still Terrorblade. It's probably not going to end too well. And S will actually TP back. There are no back. trades to be had. This yeah. is like a tiny wisp, man. So the TP back will, will secret away from the Radiant base for now. And I think that's largely just because they are not quite at their next level of item. Not to mention even just stuff like Roshan, which is coming up in one minute. So Aegis... BKB on the Razor, which is just going to be flying out now, and then Terrorblade, probably his BKB as well. Unless he wants to go for the Butterfly over that. And yeah, Secret, they're still kind of cruising right now, it feels like. Sure, you're up against the Naga Siren, but we're still not really seeing uh, a, a true Naga game just yet. Yeah, just the just the ratty components. Big Daddy looking for a bit of a glimpse here. He's got a Static Storm set up, ready to go, but the song was off first. So Archibald just TP on out of here. Good quick reactions to secure that retreat. Yeah, the song before you get brought back means, he, hey, even if he drops that static storm, he's still going to get the song off. Yeah, and it's, it's actually the level 2 song, so that should secure the next rush for Secret. Yeah, unfortunately, he poked their heads in just a little bit too early here, as Roche was just about to respawn. Top lane, Alpha Ninja and S4 just yeah, playing a little fun game up there. S4 seems to be winning all the fun games at this point. <laughs> yeah. So you can't blow that. Out. That's the thing about Razor versus Death Prophet is they they seem somewhat similar, especially later on in the game. But Exorcism just has to be so judiciously, whereas you can throw out that death, Razor ult whenever you'd like. Snipe at bottom lane. Rest in peace. Gosh, ancient apparition ult. A recipe for death. They do have their song online. Oh no, sorry, they, they have a net, no song. Yeah. I think they're about to scout the Roshan and probably they go for that. They want to go on S4 here, would love to force out a BKB. But I, I don't 
Arts can't really scare him that much by himself. He's waiting for this backup that's coming okay. from his Death Prophet. But he's still going to have the BKB TP. Oh. Well, he can snag. You can't. Uh, oh. So now he can. He's, he uh, waits for the ensnare. I don't know why he ensnared. He was holding on to the ensnare because of that BKB, but... They also had tree coming, so maybe they figured, let's net, then we'll, then we'll BKB, yeah. then we can blink overgrowth, but they should have just waited a he, few he seconds. He held the insane. Longer. Fight momentarily as Goddamn's gonna get caught out here and drop that Mystic, so it does good damage to Big Daddy. And it looks like we are back online. Sorry to everybody, uh, the stream went down. Looks like Twitch routing issues or something of the sort. H. Apparition just wildly casts around, but not gonna accomplish too much. Naga struts in, has that song ready to rock and roll. There is no double ravage yet. Would be a decent time to fight the Manta style used. As Arc surges in, but now he's out of mana, doesn't have much left in the tank. Big Daddy also pursued out. Can't really finish the job, though. These Naga illusions. Oh, he manages to deal with them and actually gets out of there safely, so. Small victory coming out for. But yeah, just to reiterate, guys, uh, it looks like at least in this case, we did not actually lose internet at the house. So I think we might be having some routing issues to Twitch, so. Could be our internet, could be a problem at their data center. We're not sure, but. It does seem to be stable, so if you hear this, be of a black screen, or uh, if your friends can't watch, but you can, just let them know to go ahead and refresh the stream, and hopefully everything should be fixed. Uh, for but you didn't really miss anything. I think it was only offline for a couple yeah. of minutes. Just so. a Skyrath kill. Yeah. And Otherwise, just a lot of Naga and Terrorblade farming. So this time, we get lucky, and we don't really miss anything too big. Yeah. Terrorblade's got this butterfly now on top of all his uh, previous item purchases, and... Looks like he's ready to go. We'll pass the Metamorph with S4 in the front lines with his Ag Scepter ultimate as well, so... And he did, he did go for the hack, so nice pickup for him. It's just so good against Death Prophet if you can just burst her before she DKBs. See, that Courier... Tinkbot, you ain't going there. And Raxus just getting worked on here. There's no glue for about 30 seconds, which is unfortunate, because that could have maybe saved those Raxes, but... Double Rax set and mid goes down, and well... Secret just happily back off. They'll say, look, wait, Metamorph is going to be on cooldown. Razor's ultimate's going to be on cooldown for a little bit. We're in no rush. Refresher also coming up soon on Tide. Yeah, Secret is slow and disciplined. And, I mean, it's it's the pace of game they need at this point. They once held an enormous lead. Now, it's, it's like in the solid lead department. 15k gold does sound like a lot this game, and it certainly is, but... It's like a 30% lead, whereas before, I think they were leading by, like, close to, like, 40 to 50% at some point, so... It's still very sizable, and they're in a comfortable position, but they just want to play it safe, calm, collected, maybe secure that next Roshan, and, and then go for the GG. Yep. And I guess the big thing they're waiting on, David, is just this refresher on Tide, which yeah. he's about to pick up. At, at that a very late refresher for Simba, I gotta say. Normally he has this much earlier, but he's just spent a lot of time running around with this team. The refresher just gives him so much freedom to just throw even solo Ravages even more, because the way... It, Hellraiser are playing so defensively, he's not really finding many good Ravages because he doesn't want to just... He solo Ravage like the Death Prophet once or something, but... Just... He can just do that very liberally if he wants to, once he has the Refresher Orb. Well, hopefully get things back underway. For those of you, I think the stream is now back up. Woo! Hello, stream! Huzzah. I think it look. At least it looks like it. Something's you, changing and going from grey to... Yep. From nothing to grey. There you go. We're back in business. All right, well, let's see if Secret are still in business here. Affa Ninja on the hunt. He's got some, some buddies in tow. This Death Prophet is looking mighty poor, man. 13k not worth it. 39 minutes. That's not good. Yeah, Kuro starts things off with a slow end. They've got Simba here with the Refresher Ultimate, so... Potential is always there for the, the, the Refresher Ravage. 15 seconds till Roshan, and it really seems Hellraisers want to contest it. Like, they've got an okay line for doing so. Song of the Siren, Exorcism, and all that, but... Their, their actual map control and just their current status of the other heroes apart from the Naga, they're just, like, not as farmed as they really need to be. They also have a lane of Rex down and bottom lane with no Tier 2s, where Secret have Tier 2s up mid and bottom, the two lanes that are closest to the Rosh Pit. So they have more margin for error in that department. They also have a buyback on the Terror Blade. Naga and Death Prophet also do, but especially the Death Prophet, very reliant on the ultimate. So you buy back on her, you only really have one effect of life, assuming you use the ult properly. And I just worry about them being able to keep this Death Prophet alive for Afa Ninja. Sure, you've got Song, you've got the Yule Scepter, you've got some reset tools here, but it's like at some, at some point you got to drop down, and that's yeah. where they just destroy you. They're gonna look for it. The silence was ready from goddamn. 
What a great reaction. You already get queued up as they attempted oh, for the blink and grab. So many four staff escapes here. The overgrowth getting completely whiffed. They forced out the exorcism. HR got to do Man. something aggressive now. Because if they don't, then Secret will most certainly secure Roshan and possibly even a second lane of Rax on the back of this. Heck, no grab it instead. Catches just one. The chase is on with S4 with a Hex now, maybe to find some more. He's got that four staff ready. He can go a little bit deeper here. Look for Appa Ninja. Ravage number two comes through. There is a song. The ghost will return. Their arts is going to have to bail his buddy out here. Yeah. Oh, maybe maybe he won't. He's just going to summon the illusion and try to turn on S4 and Simba. Unfortunately, doesn't hit particularly hard as he has not completed his butterfly or his diffusal blade just yet. And meanwhile, oh, radiant base god thrown. That's the uh, 7 a.m. camera work in action. <laughs> You BTW. Could, you, you could probably fill the blanks. Terrible at hitting buildings. Yeah, I saw him go. To, I saw him go for the mid racks. I'm like, there's no racks here. Let's watch this fight. And then, oh, by the way, base gone. Terrible yeah, they, they, That was pretty much unwinnable. That death profit was just way too poor. All right, that does it. Team Secret after a kind of I don't know an embarrassing loss to X Game KZ, but an unexpected loss to X Game KZ. They bounce back, take a win off of Hellraisers, and well, find themselves in a still pretty good position here in Star Ladder Season 11 for Europe. Yeah, so. what are they sitting on now? Four and one? Or uh, we have the standings from beginning of today. In so they went one and one few so seconds. far? Yeah, one and one today, so add that once it shows up. In a second. <laughs> <That's a few. laughs> they were one and zero, so they're now two and one. Okay. Um, they haven't played in the top teams because most of them are at Dream League. Um, so. so we are going to get to see Goomba now. This is my first look at the team. They won the pre-qualifier, so they had to like, okay. fight their way up from the pro division, which is not actually the pro teams. It's like the, the star division is like the, the, the real pro division. What Starlighter, yeah. what Starlighter calls pro is, I guess, what you'd call the semi-pro division. So um, Goomba, they, they fought their way through. I think they took down, was it 4 ASC to get here? I okay. can't remember. They took down some pretty decent teams. Le yep. John's maybe in the mix. They got the, some some old school kind of known German players there who've been uh, been around for a while and good to see them making some comebacks. So I like their logo. This little mushroom head. That's a great great team. I'm already a fan, dude. <laughs> I love my Mario. I love my Goombas. Yep. All right. Well, guys, stick around. We've got our last game for Europe coming I got nothing, up. I got nothing, dude. You can outro now. Um. Yeah. Thanks. You're watching Dota 2.